Hi, this is Shivdaj of CSCA from Bihar Canton Science and Technology. Today we are going to discuss about millipede memory. Millipede memory comes under the category of nanotechnology. Nanotechnology in the sense which is nanoparticle comes uh, explains about the nanoparticles which are smaller than microparticles. We can see microparticles through only microscope as you know. And nowadays we are using storage devices like electromagnetic disks. They can store they can store in a maximum of 5 GB per centimeter square, but through this technology we can store an on an average of 15.5 GB per centimeter square. So we are using this. As I, as I said before, this comes under this comes under this comes under nanotechn nanotechnology and it is invented by IBM scientists. This is invented for for an effective storage effective storage of data. And this large amount of data is stored in the, st in the using punch cards. Pun using punch cards. Punch cards in the sense they are only they are used in golden days. In the sense they are just like pun they are punched and the st st memory is stored in through in the form of holes which are which are being punched. And here the technology this, this technology is mostly usable because it is rewritable in the sense. We can rewrite the data that is already stored. We can erase it and we can rewrite the data. And it is mainly used because the per each per each hole we can store a maximum of three billion bits per data. So this is, this comes comes into existence. Millipede is non-volatile memory. Non-volatile memory in the sense primary memory, which is used for storing uh, just like drives in the in your computer for D E in the sense. The secondary memory comes under RAM, and this this one is used for large amount of data storage, and it promises it promises a data density for sure of, of more than of more than one terabyte per square inch of more than one terabyte per square inch. Here we we read and write the store information using MEMS MEMS in the sense micro electro electro mechanical systems in the sense we use uh, electricity electricity for mechanical systems in the sense they are mini particles so we named it micro just like here we can see the animated animated view of the millipede memory here this is the silicon chi silicon chips these are the silicon chips and this is called as candy liver candy liver in the sense it will punch the punch the hole into the silicon chip and this hole is used for storing the data and this is a small hole that we can't see through our eyes and on and on, on and on, overall we use this millipede memory for the purpose of phones and radio, radio stations in the sense for every small small devices this is the thing cantilever v shaped cantilever this will punch a hole into this silicon and this Yeah, here we can see the the millipede millipede project all will be based on mean and mainly the silicon silicon abstract silicon abstract here V shaped silicon cantilevers are used which are of maximum of 0.5 nanometers and of 0.5 nanometers thick and 70 micrometers long here and this uh, your yeah, scientists are uh, now they are trying to find of uh, a new 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 thing. That can that can arrange one zero two for cantilevers in the space of three millimeter into three millimeter. Working on the millipede includes reading and writing data, and this reading and writing writing is done by heating the transistor in the sense we heating the silicon and punching the holes into it and. At the temperature of three hundred degrees Celsius, we will be reading and writing. And it will also sometimes it will take 400 degrees centigrade. Here you can see this silicon abstract, and this view this use multi multiplex drivers that is LED. This LED is used for storing the data and uh, storing the data and while punching the holes. The main advantage of this uh, main advantage of this is. High density in the sense, high density in the sense we can use a large amount, we can store large amount of data in the small space in the sense high density. 
more reliable in the sense reliability in the sense that, that we can trust it in the sense it, it won't lose the data how whatever the time may be but in here when it comes to cds nowadays we are using them when we store when we try to store the large amount of data in the cds when the time when the time goes on the memory will be depleting in the sense it is it will be corrupted and large storage space as i already said it is nano nano particle in the sense that it is small space it can store a large amount of data and possibility of reading and writing overwriting it parallelly so here we can use we can use read it read it in the sense we can watch a movie or we can use we can see a text from it and writing in the sense that at at the same time while we are using it we can also write and also we can overwrite in the sense we can erase it and we can write over, overwrite at the same here the main disadvantage is it is expensive when we are using a single single transistor single single millipd in the sense here a transistor when we use it singly it will be too expensive but when we bought it when we buy buy, buy it at a large quantity then it, then we can get an at an affordable price affordable price and the high density here all, i already said that that high density high density in the sense we can use we can use it for large large storage large data storage here the application application should be micro drivers as i already said the small devices like micro drivers can be used in mobile phones watches here and there now whereas we are using uh, we don't know but we are using millipd memory in our cell phones also and high capacity hard drives due to high density they you can store more more amount of data that is why they are using high capacity hard drives conclusion rather than using this uh, magnetics that we are using nowadays for in computers like that we can use this technology where here and where so that we can store large amount of data at reliable at low effective cost and we can trust it more here i already said a punch card here the 3 billions of bits of data are can can be stored in a just a hole which is punched on the silicon abstract in the sense of one hole in the punch card if you if you want any other information you can refer it you can refer through these links